Hello, children. I welcome you all to the English class. Today, the day is Wednesday, and it is twenty-first of October, two thousand and twenty. So, hope you all are fine and doing well, and you all are enjoying the English class. So, let us proceed to our class for today. Okay, class. The chapter we are continuing today is chapter six from your English grammar. Simple present and simple past. So today we are doing page number forty-five. Let's practice. So in the question you can see that number one, put the sentences in the correct columns given below. So there's a column in your book given below, and here are the sentences A to F. What you need to write is that you need to. Two, you need to put the correct sentences in the column. Three columns is given. If you go to your book, if you see the book, three columns are given: action in past, time period in past, and habit in past. So this, these are the sentences in simple past form. Now you have to divide the sentences according to their expressions. Okay. So A. My father worked in the bank for two years. Sentence A is telling my father worked in the bank for two years. This sentence is telling something that is the time period in past because it's mentioned two years. My father worked in the bank for two years. So the sentence is telling the time period in the past. So number A, we will put the sentence here. So A, you will put here. What you will write? You will write the sentence here. My father worked in the bank for two years. Okay. My father worked in the bank for two years. Time period in past. Number B. He usually came home late in the evening. So it is indicating habit in the past. He used to come home late in the evening. He usually came home late in the evening. So it's a habit. So we will put sentence B here. He usually came home. Late in the evening. So this is sentence B. Let us go through sentence C. What is in sentence C? We went to Uti for summer. We went to Uti for summer. We can write it in action in past also. But summer is mentioned, so I am putting the sentence in time period in past. Okay, we went. To Uti for summer, so it is mentioning something you did in the past time. So we went to Uti for summer. Okay, hope this is clear because it is mentioned that it's done in summer. It's already done in summer. That is why I'm using the sentence in the time period in past. D. We saw many wild animals there. We saw. Saw is yours. Yes. So you did some action. Saw is mentioning the action. So I'm putting sentence D in action in past. D. Will be the action which you which you did in the past. We we saw many and wild animals there. So it's uh, the sentence is telling something that represents the action. So we saw many wild animals there. So we saw many wild animals there. Next sentence E. Last year I went to sleep early every night. So this sentence is sentence is also indicating habit in the past. So sentence E I am putting it in past. Okay. Last year I went to sleep early every night. 
last year i went to sleep early every night because it is indicating habit or routine that is why i am putting it in the column of habit in past last i read many books in school i read many books in school so read is something which is representing action in past so number f i am putting it in the action in past i read many books in school don't forget that all the sentences is indicating the verb in the past tense right so this is simple past form of verbs we have divided six sentences into different columns according to the action done in past time period in past and habit in past we have already done the video how you will divide the sentences in the past form okay so hope this is clear in the action in past there will a time period in past b habit in past c also time period in past d we saw many animal wild animals their action in past e habit in past and f again action in past hope this is clear to you people okay children next let us continue question number 2 let's practice page 45 So in this question you can see number 2 make simple past sentences using this expressions after changing the verb form so some expressions are given and you have to change the verb and you have to make simple past sentences you have to make the sentences in simple past and one has been done for you example a take the cakes i home it's written take the cakes i home so take here is this is verb first we have to find out first what we will do we will find out the verb in the sentences so after changing the verb into past form then after we will make the sentences so i took the cake home take the cakes i home i took the cakes home take is the present form and the past form of take is took so i took the cakes home now next b my sister all eat the cakes my sister all eat the cakes so here verb is eat the past form of eat is ate so what you will write my sister eat all the cakes my sister eat all the cakes see to the dog she of you crumbs give here verb is give so what is the past tense of give give so we will form a sentence she gave a few crumbs crumbs to the dog she gave a few crumbs to the dog okay d our dog junk all kinds of love food so here our dog junk all kinds of love food verb is love yes so we will write we will make the sentence our dog loved all kinds of junk food okay now e you can see the question do on sunday my parents all the shopping here the verb is did right so what we will write how we will make the sentence on sunday my parents did all the shopping did all the shopping 
Otherwise, you can also write, my parents did all the shopping on Sunday. Otherwise, you also can write, on Sunday, my parents did all the shopping. Here, do is a verb. We are changing the verb into past form. Now, if many things by last week, extra C. So, here, verb is by, the past form of by is bought. So, what you will write? She bought many things extra last week. She bought many things extra last week. G. We are picnic plan last week. Here the verb is plan. So what you will write? We Planned a picnic last week. We planned a picnic last week. Pack and snacks. We for the picnic to the picnic spot go. Now this is little bit confusing, right? So your verb is pack. So we will change it into past packed and Go is here. So, go will be win. So, what you will write? What will be the sentence? We packed snacks for the picnic. We packed snacks for the picnic and went to the picnic spot. Okay. So the last one. A lot be a funny film. See and laugh. So this is your home assignment. You will do this I by your own and show it to me. Okay. Now let us see from first. Take the cakes I home. A. I took the cakes home. My sister all eat the cakes. My sister ate all the cakes. To the dog she a few crumbs give. She gave a few crumbs to the dog. D. Our dog loved all kinds of junk food. On Sunday my parents did all the shopping. She bought by bought. Past tense of buy is bought. She bought many things extra last week. Otherwise, you also can write, she bought extra many things last week. G. We planned a picnic last week. H. We packed snacks for the picnic and went to the picnic spot. H is your homework. Okay, children? H is your home assignment. So, you will complete this exercise and send it to me. Thank you.